Hello everyone, my name is Martin Linksfeld and this is the first lesson of the course. This lesson guides you through the process of creating an autonomous database serverless on Oracle's free tier, offering a practical start for users seeking cost-effective solutions without compromising on capabilities. Let's now move into the GitHub repository of the course and OCI console where we will deploy our Terraform codes. I am now in GitHub in my repository which is publicly available. So now I will try to clone that repository directly into my cloud, uh, cloud shell. So let me just bring the cloud shell. Within a few seconds, I believe it will start up. It's there. So now I can clone this repository directly here. Within a few seconds, it will be downloaded. Then I can go directly to subdirectory, which has been created for me and then into training subdirectory where I will find all lessons for this training. So let me go then directly to lesson number one. And in this lesson, I will use the Terraform example file and I will populate this file with the entries. So let me just copy Terraform example file into Terraform TFRs file, right? So now I can populate it, but before that, I will switch from Cloud Shell into Cloud Editor. So let me just click here and click, click, click on uh, Code Editor. Within a few seconds, it will start code editor for me okay so code editor is ready so i think i can just close cloud shell and stay here right as you can see we have terraform oci fk adb with my training i can close this welcome window i can go directly to lesson number one and as you can see here we have this file which has been created for us which has been copied by me in fact so now i need to populate those elements of the configuration which are taken from the example file so first of all i will minimize my cloud uh, code editor and I will go directly to governance and administrations and into tenancy details. And within a few seconds, I hope I will be able to find out OCID of my tenancy. I will copy that. And now I can populate this field. Okay, in case of region, we are in Frankfurt, so I will put here EU, EU Frankfurt 1. In case of the compartment, I will use compartment, which is here. So let me use Tenancy Explorer just to find out the right compartment and it will be Terraform compartment, right? So I will copy OCID of that compartment and I will populate it here. I also need to populate ADB password, right? With some value. So I will use the most common password I used to try with my ADB configuration. Okay, now it's fine. Let me save the file. 
and now I can try to use the terminal window which is here right I need to go to training I need to go to lesson number one and first of all I need to run terraform init just to prepare the configuration of my terraform environment all things will be downloaded from internet now I can run terraform apply let me just make this window a little bit bigger so you see three resources will be added according to the plan right so let us scroll just to find out what exactly is planned so first of all it will be OCI database autonomous database resource which will be created okay and um, let me scroll down and as you can see the attribute the parameter is free tier is set to true which essentially means it will be free tier database besides of the database we will create additionally the wallet right the wallet is necessary for us to access and we are also creating the wallet password now let me type yes and we need to wait a few minutes for database to come meanwhile let me just minimize it and uh, code editor and I will go directly to autonomous database section of OCI console and as you can see the process of provisioning is in the middle we can check it in details in a work request section so for now it is just about 18 percent of job already done but the rest is still in progress so let us wait until the process will be done so let me pause the recording and i will be back later on okay it looks like the terraform apply is finished so free resources have been added it has taken about 10 minutes to deploy the database so work request is finished 100 percent complete so we can go here into a database and as you can see on top we have this information that this database this particular instance is a part of the always free tier it means theoretically it's for free and if you need to you can upgrade this into the paid version but for now we will stay with the current configuration what is important free tier has a lot of limitations right as you can see here for example we cannot create any disaster recovery scenario we can create refreshable clones but we cannot create long-term backups manually right so we will only based on automatical backups what what is also important we cannot create a private endpoint which will be a part of the further lessons right and we have a lot of other limitations for the size of the database and that is all in terms of the configuration so after this configuration <clears throat> I think we can connect to the database from the outside because in fact there is no let's say limitation in terms of the access right everyone theoretically knowing the admin user password and having the wallet will be able to access so first of all I need to go to database connection and I need to download the wallet 
right? And the wallet will be downloaded. Okay, here is Oracle SQL Developer. And as you can see, for new connection, which I'm trying to establish, I have decided to utilize Cloud Wallet. Configuration file is embedded in a zip file, which I have downloaded directly from the console. I will use admin user with the password and I have tested the connection and the connection was successful. So let's name this connection and save it for the future use. Let me fill the password. And as you can see, I'm in. So, theoretically, I can create some table. So, At the moment, the table is empty, but can be populated with insert. So, this is a proof that we can use SQL Developer. Because database is exposed to public internet, we can see the same uh, table from the perspective of embedded functionality named uh, Database SQL Studio or SQL Actions. So the worksheet will run quickly and uh, as you can see, in admin, we have just one table test, so we can run query. And here we cannot see because the commit has not been sent to the database from SQL developer, right? So let me switch to SQL Developer for a sec. And let me commit the change. And commit is done. So if I run it from here, I'm expecting to see entries. Okay, that's it in terms of database population. We have shown what was planned, so now we can run Terraform Destroy. And after a while, it will show us the plan. So three resources will be destroyed. So let me type yes. And the process of database termination has started. So I'm assuming the process is ongoing. We can see that as a delete autonomous database work request, which has started. So let me pause the recording for now, and I will be back when our autonomous database will be just terminated. 
Platform destroy command is finished. Three resources destroyed. So let me go directly to autonomous, autonomous database details. ADP is terminated. So the whole uh, process is done. And that concludes the first lesson of the course. I'm looking forward for you to be attending the next lecture of the course. Thank you.